Hey everyone, thanks for checking out Random Gear For You. Today I'm going to be reviewing an Arctic Zone cooler called the Titan Deep Freeze 55 quart high performance cooler. I ordered this cooler off of Amazon after reading some mixed reviews, but from what I could see, about 80% positivity. Supposedly, this cooler can hold ice up to 8 days and seems to be made very well. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and check it out. After opening the box up, it looks like it's wrapped in some plastic with some cardboard pieces on top of it. Something really interesting as well, it actually has a fish ruler built into the top. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Upon first glance out of the box, I immediately see that it's made with microban. It looks like it's going to be stain resistant, odor resistant, and also easier to clean. Something really neat about this as well, it looks to be certified bear resistant, and also constructed using a unibody construction system. Also, you have the option to run two locks on each side. It's a good feature, very secure. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Also, when you first receive this cooler and you want to open it up, it will be vacuum sealed. So you want to release the drain plug in order to be able to actually lift the top of the uh, cooler open. Very nice, very spacious on the inside. The depth I would say is close to 12 to 15 inches. A couple things I wanted you to consider when buying this cooler. In order to get maximum efficiency from it, you will need to pre-chill your cooler using cold contents 12 to 24 hours prior to packing the cooler. Also, in order to achieve a full eight days of ice, they're recommending to pack with 62 pounds of cubic ice. Um, in order to achieve that eight day time period, you can also load to 42 pounds and they're saying that you will get about six days of ice out of it. I have yet to test these things out, but I'm very curious to see what type of results we would get going by their specifications. Also constructed with a 360 degree rubber gasket, so you get full seal on the lid, which is also very important for retaining that ice. Also, this cooler features some really nice carrying handles, very well made. And another really neat feature, it's going to actually come with these anti-skid feet on the bottom. So, you know, for a boat deck or a slippery surface, this thing is not going anywhere. You can pretty much rest assured that it's staying where you put it. Overall, I'm very impressed with the construction of this cooler. And I'm looking forward to being able to test it out in the summertime July heat here in the Midwest. Again, you can find this cooler on Amazon. I think I paid somewhere around the $250 range for it. Compared to other coolers that are out there, the way it's constructed, I would compare this to some of the higher priced coolers out there. So I'm very impressed with the money I've paid and the aesthetics of it. Now the ultimate test will be to see the performance level of it. Thanks for checking it out.